super excited today because I get to show you what day three of my Taste HKG adventures look like. Good morning, we are starting a day three adventures. We're heading to Mod 32, which is on the Michelin Star Guide. Let's go. If you've ever been to Hong Kong, you probably know how hot and humid it is. But on that day, on our way to Mod 32, it was hot. It's currently 32 degrees in Hong Kong. It is super hot. Brit does not like the camera, but she's great behind it, so. Do you guys ever have that thing where it's like, it's so hot outside, but then once you get inside, it's like way too cold. There's like no, no good balance there. That's Hong Kong and it's just for you. So before we even entered into the MTR, we got stopped by tourists asking where to go or where this was. And you know what? We weren't even locals. So we just got asked directions. Does that mean we're locals? So we arrived at Mod 32 in Central, which is a huge business district in Hong Kong. It's a hustle bustle kind of place. And we entered right into the building. We went down the escalator where we were greeted by this beautiful running waterfall on the right. And as you go down the spiraling staircase, it was like glistening. It was like we're being transported in time to old Hong Kong. And actually, the structure of the restaurant itself is an octagon. And the octagon is, um, it represents the foundation the land was originally built on. So it's very present in the time and space it is in. And there's different spaces that you can enjoy your meal. There's a room where there's Chinese calligraphy paintbrushes. There's also a room where a ceiling is pretty much giant abacus, which is kind of known as the Chinese calculator back then. And on the walls, you can see Chinese graffiti, uh, maybe that you would see on the streets back then. But then you're actually dining in a space where it's modern and you get transported back in time to be present, but also be in the past and also look forward to the future. It's incredible. You get to see the chefs make the food through this huge glass window. You can see the effort that they're putting into every single dish that they're cooking and also the Peking duck station. It's incredible. I love being able to see how my food is made in front of me. Normally, we don't get to go in the back of the kitchen to see where the action goes down, but this time we went there and Chef Lee Man Singh cooked us two dishes, lobster mapa dofu and smoked black cod. Being inside the kitchen and watching Chef Lee cook his food and observe the space was an experience in itself. Observing the kitchen space was like seeing a huge system at work. It was clean, it was structured, all the ingredients are in the right place, everyone has their own space to work with, and it's not too tight and not too big of a space, but it was just enough where it's cozy and everyone is working together. Watching Chef Lee being able to cook in front of the rest of his staff was incredible because there's around 20 people or more behind him, giving him the space, but also watching him with respect. When you're able to see a chef be able to have that space in the kitchen and for the staff to you know, admire him or to be like, this is our chef. I'm so proud to see him at work. It was incredible. That is how you know how awesome of a chef Chef Lee Man Singh is. So I know you're probably watching this video waiting for me to actually eat some food. Now let's actually get to the meat. lobster haga, which is served in a single bamboo steamer. It's so cute and comes with a little pipette filled with lobster oil. Then we have the lobster haga. Very big and chunky and it comes in a single serving dim sum. Let's give it a go. Oh man, the juices come out. It's super immediate. It's super chunky and I still remember it to this day. Next up, I got to try the Iberico pork flown in from Spain and it's their version of tasu. 
Well, let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. What's unique about this dish is that they use yellow mountain honey and they take it out several times to lock in that moisture but to also brush it several times so that the sweetness of the honey will just go right into the meat. Last but not least, I have to tell you about their Peking duck. That's what they're most known for and that is the dish you have to get. You cannot miss out on this one. Supposedly it's gonna melt in your mouth, so let's give it a go. Once you order it, they put it in their drying rack and you, you can see a ton of them getting prepared for the day ahead. They dry it because they want the skin to be so crispy and so juicy that when you bite into it, it just melts in your mouth, just caramelizes. When it comes down to the crepes, these are so impressive, how they make it. It's so thin, it's almost like tissue paper. It's so thin. You can sort of see through it, but it also has this elasticity that when you wrap it, it doesn't break. After the meal, Chef Lee Man Singh came out of the kitchen and did a sit-down interview with me. This was one of the highlights of my trip. I got to ask him how the Chinese cuisine has evolved over the years and how Mott 32 is different from other Chinese restaurants. Because I was so curious as to how their team that created this delicious Peking duck, I had to get down to how they made it and how they came up with the recipe. 其實我們之前也做過治療蒐集 I also got to ask him about the newly opened Mott 32 location in downtown Vancouver, which I'm super excited about. I'm so grateful that a restaurant like this is in our city because it is up there. Uh, we just finished up at Mod 32 in Hong Kong, the original place. You guys can check it out also in Vancouver that just opened recently. You gotta taste the Peking duck. The skin literally melted in my mouth. And Chef Lee, how cool is that dude? Let's show with him again. See you in Vancouver. Thanks for coming along on day three of my ventures of Taste HKG. I hope you guys are salivating because I was already salivating just sitting here and recapping it that crazy day. For more tasty adventures with me, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, spread the word. If you want to look at other videos, we've got the previous one right down here. What's going on everyone? We are here in Central at Little Bao. We're going to be hanging out with the one, the only, Mei Chow, who has been named Asia's best female chef shout out to your girl okay let's go